Oh, that's a quite a healthy tree down. And a near miss on our little toilet building in preparation. It's interesting how this big dying tree is managing to stand up for quite so long despite several storms that went over it and still you hardly see even any broken branches or something and then healthy looking trees they just go poof down with the storm it's a pretty fine looking tree it's fallen down in a storm but definitely have to learn to assess a bit uh, which, which trees might be a risk for a little house surrounded by trees whenever a storm comes. This one has blown over a bit and that would have been expected because the bark was already off so it is not healthy anymore and just a push and, and it leans on the other trees but the other trees hold it quite well for now. I was more concerned about the very old oak trees because uh, the bark started splitting and um, they're definitely losing uh, their vitality and these branches would really be a risk because the path is underneath but they seem to have done quite well in the storm This one is going to fall soon. Well, this one is a potential candidate for the next storm. It's just gradually being eaten away from the bottom. It's standing on its own, so very fresh out of the wind. And miraculously, haven't come down yet. These little birches, they're not holding very well. Ooh, what happened here? This is just our fe fence, fence, border, that's it. And this poor tree didn't hold it against the wind. You can see uh, smaller birch underneath there and a smaller tree which was already dead anyway and this voluminous tree with all its branches still on nicely took took them down and created an opening in the canopy and this piece was really a bit of a dark piece of course it, it's not art but it's just next to us and um, with a lot of moss and uh, mushrooms actually, a lot of mushrooms here but maybe now it will create some new possibilities for different species and there uh, are more fallen trees on the floor